Well, hey everyone, just got back from holidays and I'm really excited about all the things that are happening this fall at Steel Heights Baptist Church. Uh, to begin with, we're entering a brand new sermon series called Come Follow Me, and it's based off Jesus' famous statement in Mark 1, 17. Come follow me and I will send you out to fish for people. Well, you know, no matter how you render the Greek, you can't make Jesus' statement say, come be a church attender. No, he's called us to be followers of his and to be fishers of people. Well, there's so much more to following Jesus than simply attending church, isn't there? Even though regular church attendance is a good discipline to have in your life, Jesus is calling us to a deeper relationship and a more purposeful journey. In this fall sermon series, we'll explore 10 important core principles of Christ followership to help us better understand what the pathways of true discipleship look like and how they lead us into that extraordinary life that Jesus alone can offer us. Well, the three primary discipleship pathways we will be supporting for adult discipleship are mentoring, um, life groups, and equipping courses. And for our children, there'll be a fourth, and that is parents discipling their children at home. Pastor Bonnie is providing various resources for family discipleship that Antoinette and Pastor Ben are also supporting in our children's and youth ministries. And in particular, I want to encourage parents to attend the Faith Journey events that cover age-appropriate teachings on what it means to be a follower of Christ. Pastor Bonnie does an excellent job on this, and she'll be offering these family interactive courses on Sunday mornings throughout the year. You'll find the dates for the Faith Journey events in Pastor Bonnie's weekly email to families with, with children up to grade 12. Well, another discipleship pathway we want to explore is mentoring. Mentoring. Not only did Jesus mentor his disciples, but we see this in the life of the Apostle Paul, who intentionally mentored men like Timothy and Silas so that they could grow up in their faith and calling and learn how to become disciple makers themselves. So on Saturday, October 15th, we will be inviting speaker and teacher Sam Nickel to come and host a mentoring workshop. Our hope is to build on the existing mentoring network that already exists at Still Heights and just continue to cultivate a beautiful culture of mentoring and one-on-one -on -one discipleship uh, within our congregation. Life groups are another important discipleship pathway here at Still Heights. This includes life groups from uh, children's age up to adults. So if you're not in a life group yet, I encourage you to check out the display at the ministry fair this Sunday or visit the life group display in the lobby beginning September 11th. And the last discipleship pathway I want to share in my highlight today is about equipping courses. Equipping courses. The Apostle Paul taught that the work of the church leadership is to equip followers of Jesus so that they can in turn serve in their area of giftedness and build up the church together in love as each member does their part. So, equipping courses are designed to help you develop uh, your life skills, spiritual gifting, biblical knowledge. And an example of an equipping course would have been Pastor Jamal's evangelism course that he offered last spring. Well, an, an equipping course that is near and dear to my heart is called Focus 3. Focus 3. This year will be the eighth time I've offered this equipping course at Still Heights. It's a seven-month process that uniquely integrates leadership development, discipleship, spiritual formation in a community-based manner. And on this journey, we'll begin with a spiritual formation retreat at the end of September, and then we'll gather weekly together as a group of participants uh, and conclude uh, on the May long weekend with a high adventure camp, which is always a super highlight for, for the course. These are all designed to help us embark on this deliberate and deeper process to explore three key questions of Christ followership. Who is God? Who am I? <laughs> what does God want to do through me? You might hear my granddaughter Ada in the background. You know, she's a good reminder of uh, that as precious as we are as babes in Christ, God wants us to grow up 
and uh, become mature in our faith as well. And that's part of Christ followership, growing in maturity uh, with Christ. So if you want to get more information about how you can sign up for the Focus 3 journey, please contact me as soon as possible as the course begins on Thursday, September 22nd. I have included an attachment with my email that provides more details. Lastly, if you haven't had a chance to register for SHBC's 50th anniversary on the weekend of September 2nd and 4th, I encourage you to jump onto our website, get registered for the various events that are going on Friday and Saturday, and for sure you'll want to participate in our Sunday celebration services uh, from nine or at nine o'clock and then again at 11 o'clock on Sunday. You don't have to register for those Sunday worship services. Also note that there will be a special fellowship time up in the gym between the two services. So plan to head up to the gym after the 9 a.m. service or before the 11 a.m. service to enjoy some really incredible snacks, compliments of Bon Ton Bakery and some coffee and best of all, some great fellowship. Well, God bless you, Still Heights, and may the peace of Christ be with you and your families. Look forward to joining you this Saturday here at the church from 7 to 9 for our prayer meeting to just ask God's blessing and protection and empowerment over our ministries, our church going into this fall. And uh, look forward to meeting with you again this Sunday uh, for worship at 10 a.m. God bless you. Bye for now.